is shown right there. Fish on. Super fat sauger, man. <laughs> Look at that, man. Beautiful river saugers. Too cool. Thing already turned to ice. Been out here for 20 minutes and the thing's already frozen. We just can't quite get spring this year, can we? But nonetheless, we're still out here. Welcome back to another video today, guys. And uh, we're in the new boat and it feels incredible. Yesterday was a shakedown day. Got out here, filmed like one fish catch, did a little scouting around, all that kind of good stuff. But I will say this, I did not have like a single ethernet issue, single trolling motor thing, nothing with the motor, nothing with the electronics, nothing with graphs talking to each other. And that was the main reason to come out and fish yesterday, was just to make sure everything was functional. And I'll say this, there is so much going on when you start running four graphs like this, ethernets to everything, graphs talking to the trolling motor, trolling motor transducer talking to that graph, trolling motor transducer talking to these graphs, side imaging being able to toggle between all three graphs. Boats have never been rigged like this before. I had zero issues. That's why you go to a place like the Boat Center because those guys know what they're doing when it comes to this stuff, which is more than I could say about a lot of different dealerships. But it was good to get out yesterday, first day, and get things going on. But a little bit of a tougher bite yesterday. We'll see what today has in store. Now we got a couple things going on. One, still very cold bites. So the water temp has just kind of lingered back down. Two, water levels come up and it's got dirty. So those are kind of current conditions right now. So today we're gonna go out and hopefully grind out some good bites and make it kind of happen out here. But we got some exciting announcements, all that kind of good stuff, but first, I'm loaded up on five hour energy right now and coffee this morning. So I double dipped, but uh, we're gonna blast off to the first spot, get rigged up, go into an exciting new announcement I think you guys are gonna like. Uh, so stay tuned for that, let's make it happen. Oh, you can tell it's cold. I don't know if you guys can see me crying from all that wind in the face. 19 degrees out at 46 miles an hour. A little chilly on the old eyeballs, but here we are, spot number one. Alrighty, spot number one. We're in the water, spot lock. Time for exciting announcement. And I've been looking forward to this one for a little while now, and all the pieces are finally in place to kind of show you guys. But we get asked so many questions. What's like your favorite spring jig kit? What's your favorite spring walleye fishing package? If you could only have three, you always get that one. If you could only have four, if you could only have three, if you could only have two, if you could only have one, well, we put it together. And I need to get my box out here. Somewhere buried in storage. Right there, that is what we need. And this has been a little while in the works, you guys, but I wanted to kind of introduce it to you guys. And today we're gonna break it down. So let's break right into this sucker here. See if we can do that. Don't want you guys to be able to read my address on there. That wouldn't be good. We'll pull that out. So what this is, obviously Fish USA. Partnered up with Fish USA to put together a spring walleye fishing package right here. And I'll go ahead and link this down below so you guys can check it out. There's a limited amount of these so at first, so make sure you guys jump on there and uh, get your package, because well, we'll just dig right into it here. So this package, you can get it for $75 right here. Now, there's probably like 85 or $90 worth of baits in here, something like that, but we'll dig right into it. So it's a huge value to you guys, number one. Actually, you know what, instead of me walking through right now, why don't we jump back to like a week ago and I'll walk through it. What is going on guys, Tom Boley here. I wanna introduce you guys to the Tom Boley Spring Walleye Fishing Package, a pile of baits at an incredible value that you can take anywhere across the Midwest and catch a bunch of fish like this. All right guys, really wanted to break down this Spring Walleye Fishing Package for you and really what's in here. It's a phenomenal value at $75 and you can literally go anywhere across the Midwest with this package and catch walleyes. So let's get right into it. What's some of our favorite spring walleye fishing baits? Jigs and plastics. We wanted to load you guys up on some phenomenal plastic options right here. We got 
Kalen's Tickle Shads. One of my absolute favorite cold water springtime walleye swim baits right here. A couple different colors. That kind of classic chartreuse green swim bait. A lot of guys like that in their darker systems. And then the Arkansas Shad, which is literally gonna work anywhere you're gonna go. One of my absolute favorite colors right here. So when I hand selected this stuff, wanted to make sure it's all the stuff that I love to fish with in this package. Got a couple other awesome swim baits as well. Kalen's Tickled Tails. A little bit more subtle type of swim bait. We got those in Albino Shiner and Arkansas Shad. Two of my favorite colors. That Albino Shiner is awesome in your clear water. Arkansas Shad, love it everywhere I go pretty much. These swim baits are a little bit more subtle, a little bit smaller tail, and they kind of have a little bit of a tighter action, which is awesome when you're fishing very cold water. But if you're gonna be fishing swim baits and plastics, what else do you need? We need jig heads. So we've got a couple of my absolute favorite jig heads here to pair with those plastics. Kalen's Google Eye Jigs right here in quarter ounce and three eighths ounce in some awesome colors. And these jigs, they have the wire keeper, they have the rattle in the eye, and they pair very well with those plastics right there. So we got those which are awesome for pairing with the plastics. Then one of my other favorite live bait fish and jig heads right here. Kalen's Pendu Jigs. A little bit shorter hook shank, and because of that, they're phenomenal to pair with either small plastics or your live bait. A lot of us like fishing jig and minnows. This is my absolute favorite jig head for fishing with live bait, these minnows this time of year. So, wanted to put some of those in there as well. But another bait that's been absolutely on fire this spring that I want to make sure we got some of my favorite colors and sizes in here, Kalen's Rattling Google Eye Hair Jigs three different sizes right here all the way from up from the bigger half right here to the three ace and the quarter these baits have been absolutely on fire this season and they're getting to be in super high demand so i wanted to make sure i got some of my favorite hair jigs in this package these jigs like i said have been crushing fish and really everywhere we've been the hair jig has been an awesome player and this one's been absolutely on fire so i wanted to make sure i got three of those in this package for you guys also what's one bait that you have to have in the spring Blade baits. Blade baits are an absolute staple this time of year. So I wanted to make sure we got some good blade baits in there in a couple different sizes and a couple different colors right here. So we have the Acme V-Rod right there. And we're gonna give you a couple different colors. One of the Maverick in a quarter and a three eighths. That quarter is an awesome color, or the awesome size for kind of short hopping in shallow water. Three eighths, a little bit better in deeper water, both in Maverick and Gold Nugget. And I don't think there's anywhere you can go in the spring and not catch fish on a gold blade bait. It's just an absolute staple. And you get that in two different sizes, both the quarter and the three eighths. Phenomenal bait right there. Also wanted to throw in some bonus goodies. One of those might just be the Kalen's Lunker Grub. Phenomenal plastic paired on a jig head. We all know how much walleyes love kind of that soft, subtle twister tail style of action on a jig head. So threw some of those in there as well. And like I said, with this package, you can literally go anywhere in the Midwest right now and catch fish. And that's what I wanted to make sure. We had some of my favorite baits, favorite colors, and favorite sizes in this package so check it out online fishusa.com and for all the tips on how to fish these baits where to fish them make sure you guys get on the walleye now app because there's an, a ton of tips that are going to walk you through springtime locations springtime presentations and everything else walleye fishing right there in walleye now so check everything out online fishusa.com so there it is, the spring walleye fishing package. Some of my favorite baits at a crazy good price. But we're gonna challenge ourselves today. And it's not even gonna be a challenge because I mean, these are the baits that I love to fish. We are only gonna fish with the baits that come in this box right here. That is how we're gonna roll. And today we're gonna be doing something. We're gonna be pulling some Dubuque rigs, which means I'm gonna need some jigs, one light one, one heavy one and some plastics. That is gonna be the deal today. So we're gonna get rigged up and the Dubuque rig is actually a super simple rig, which basically is one heavy jig on a three-way with one lighter jig tied a little bit longer. And there's a great piece on the wall right now kind of walking through how you fish and how you rig a Dubuque rig and all that kind of stuff for all you tech savvy walleye fishermen who want to get after it and kind of duplicate this pattern but this is what we're going to do today so we're going to take one of these 2.8 inch tickle shads we're going to put that on one we're going to grab that little guy out right there look how sexy that little bait is one of my favorites for sure and then the other bait we've got a bunch of good options here should we go should we go with the grub tail or should we go with another swim bait Maybe we're gonna start out with that grub tail. And if we do decide to switch, we'll go with another swim bait or something. But that's gonna be our package right there. Dubuque rigs, obviously two jigs, so we got two plastics. So let's rig them up, see if we can't put a few fish in the boat on them.
All right, boys. We are on. Took a little while. Nice wall. Oh, we're struggling with audio because it's so cold out. Let's scoop this guy up, though. Let's scoop him up real quick. And as it often goes, you're dealing with just brutally cold temperatures. We had the audio die right away, but here we go. Fish number one. It is all tangled up in the net. That was on that top jig, that Arkansas Shad. That guy right there that we put on that top jig. Here we go. 17 incher to get the morning going. Dubuque rigging in some of these current seams. Let's let that guy go. You can tell by how bundled up I am. Didn't really warm up much, but since we just caught that fish there, it might just sit here because I just got into like the sweet spot of this whole current stretch here and pitch a few jigs around. And maybe we'll put, uh, we're gonna pitch that guy around right there. We'll see what happens for a little bit here, but it took probably an hour to get the first fish and three spots, but uh, maybe we're in some fish now. Fish. Oh boy, spot locked down. Well, it has been anything but a fast start. Feels like we got the right fish on here. In the current, they're always just digging. Took me more, I think, a little bit to find fish or to kind of figure out exactly what they're doing. This one's just bulldogging. Oh yeah, really nice chunky walleye here. Nice chunky walleye on the old Dubuque rig. That one came on that top kind of floater jig, as they oftentimes do. Hopefully we got better audio on this clip than we had on the previous clip. Because early this morning, it was too damn cold for the cameras to work, and it was too damn cold for my fingers to work. Well, there's a nice walleye right there. If we can put a few of these in the boat today, I'll be a happy guy. We don't have the entire day to fish. At least we shouldn't fish for the entire day because we got to go somewhere else on the road, but look at that. Beautiful river walleye right there, man. He's got a couple little warts on him, but uh, so far got a few fish. And I think we're piecing it together slowly but surely here. Get the rod back in the water. About as good as it gets, man. One inch of visibility. River really got muddy this week. But basically the setup I'm running, which is all tangled up at the moment, is the old Dubuque rig, obviously. And on the top, you just run a much lighter jig, essentially. And a lot of the fish do come on that one, naturally. Not all of them, of course, but that's on that Arkansas shad we pulled out of the old Fish USA box this morning. And that 2.8, just a little killer, man. Good, good, good little bait. Don't be afraid to kind of run one, you know, real bright color in the dirty water, one kind of natural color like that. They will find it. It is a fish, wow. Didn't feel like a fish when it bit. All right, well we literally just caught a decent walleye. This is feeling like an all right fish. Sauger, nice sauger. That one did come on old chartreuse there. Well, we are slowly grinding through them and it feels like, you know, a lot of times real early in the season what you're dealing with is really clear water and it makes it more like a morning evening bite but I don't know if this water is so dirty these fish just needed some sun or if we're just kind of dialing in on you know where these fish are I have definitely slid shallower a little bit he is a walleye he's almost like a muted out sauger walleye <laughs> and all these fish kind of lose their color when it gets kind of real dirty in the water like this they almost kind of lose all that gold and all that bright color. They just kind of get that real dull looking. Real dull looking. But you can tell 
he is still kind of that black spotted up a little bit see you later buddy good eater if you want to eat one 17 incher and that one came on old chartreuse and i don't know if color is that big of a deal right now or what we've caught fish on a very dark style of bait and a very bright one so far but uh so far two on the old tickle shads which is just as you guys know one of my favorite favorite river presentations all right guys you know when the water comes way up like this and dirties up quite a bit one thing you have happen is obviously number one there's more flow so the fish want to get out of that really heavy flow so from the last time i was on the mississippi river the water's probably come up three feet i would say um and that's a that's a lot of water when you think about how much extra flow that adds and all the extra debris coming down the river and everything like that but what it does is it changes all the current seams so a current seam that you might have been fishing when the water was four feet lower than this is now raging current so a lot of times you're talking about new spots um, and a lot of times those spots might be close to one another but what you end up seeing is the fish pushing towards the shoreline and trying to seek some of that out of the out of that main flow type of current so we're fishing a lot of these spots that there was probably absolutely no flow like a week ago right but these fish a lot of times they try to get out of that main flow get closer to a shoreline get in some kind of current seam and a lot of times that's going to be some shallower water stuff which is kind of what we're doing today and we're just dragging so slow in those spots so that's kind of one of the reasons in my opinion why fishing rivers is so interesting because the spots can all change just in a couple days with adding some dirty water some higher water and it pushes those fish all around it's kind of like an ever-changing puzzle and that is really kind of one of the, my favorite things about rivers there's always an element of challenge to it fish on right there it's feeling all right it's feeling all right. Well, I feel like either we're dialing it in better or it's definitely, they're definitely liking this midday time a little bit more. Should be a nice fish right here. Oh yeah, real dude, super fat sauger, man. Super fat sauger right there. Come here, buddy, get the net out. Look at that guy, man. <laughs> Oh man, and they are a cool fish down here on the river system, man. And this is a pretty big one. You know, saugers don't get this big everywhere you're gonna go. Not even close to it. That one picked it up right off the bottom. Get you popped off, buddy. There we go. Just that little quarter ounce head. <laughs> Look at that, man. Beautiful river saugers. Too cool. He's a fat one for sure. We'll definitely take a bunch more like that. But uh, we're putting it together. It feels good. Dubuque rigging. Something we haven't featured on the YouTube channel in a little while for sure. But obviously a super productive way to fish. And it's one thing. See you later, buddy. And it's definitely one of those techniques I've noticed that when you get really dirty water. And just kind of really dirty water, heavy current. A lot of times that's when I end up fishing a Dubuque rig. If I got clear water and less current, which is generally a lower river system, I like to like pitch jigs normally or do some other stuff. But it's like when you got to keep that bait just pressed into the bottom. That's kind of the whole idea of fishing this type of system, right? This jig rarely leaves contact with the bottom. This jig rarely touches the bottom very much. But both jigs are essentially pinned right there because of that bigger heavy jig. And we're fishing pretty shallow overall and i've kind of been fishing a little bit shallower and shallower as the day goes on but you can imagine you know there's hardly any movement off bottom you don't really do much with your rod and because of that that thing's just always so tight to the bottom and that's really kind of why i think when these fish need a bait that's just really really in their face when they can't see very far the dubuque rigs are a really good way to fish fish on fish on and we are putting it together 100 percent man long ways back there right now just kind of dropped off for a second man these things in the current i just always hate like really putting a lot of pressure on them <laughs> 
because there is quite a bit of current. Come here, buddy. It's gonna be an average size one. Another nice sauger, man. Another nice sauger. Look at that guy. I don't know if you guys can see this. Look at the fish. Oh, it disappeared. <laughs> He's only like three inches from the surface, right? I'll go ahead and just boat flip this guy on in. There we go, man. Another nice fish right there. There we go. I think we've got, what do we got, five or six now? Not too bad. Not too bad. I had to slide a little bit shallower and just move around to some different current seams. So that was kind of definitely the key to getting a few more bites. Presentation, we had that dialed right off the bat. Man, this guy's never coming off in a million years. Let's pop him off. It's nice the cameras decided to get warm enough to work for us today. Definitely not as cold as it was right when we started, but still chilly. And these things are so muted out. It's crazy, like the color difference between fish. That last one I caught was like all spotted up. This one's just dull and like void of, <laughs> of color. But like I said, when you get watercolor, it looks like chocolate milk. Fishing can be a little tougher, and those fish just kind of lose their color after a while. But, oh, it feels good. I was worried right away this morning that we were not going to get the video. But so far, with the exception of losing a few jigs and, and stuff like that, all our fish have either come on that right there, or where's the Arkansas Shad one? Or that right there. So those are kind of the two that we've been fishing. Then obviously for jigs, we're just fishing that quarter, that quarter and eighth ouncer, which are this one right here, and then just that gold one. So super simple pattern. Obviously you can catch fish with everything in the box right here. And we threw one of these in there too, along with a, a cool walleye now sticker. So if you guys are gonna pick up the Fish USA box, not only do you obviously get a pile of stuff, but everything you need and how to fish these baits, how to find fish this time of year, how to fish a Dubuque rig, it's literally all right on the wall and out. So when you get this, you can just scan it and get right on there, super simple. So really everything you need to catch a spring walleye is literally in that box. But we're gonna keep fishing because now I'm starting to have fun. This morning it was like, ooh, are we in for the grinder today? But we're having fun now. Fish on. What is that about? <laughs> is it just a real angry one here? Man, now that they're eating it, they're really eating it, man. Another nice, what do we got here? Walleye? Straight up wall dog. No more sog dogs. There we go, man. Last couple, I feel like I've come on that, that bright green one. And he absolutely crushed it. We got a hook in a rope, which is always just a fateful deal. Catching a man. I know none of these are like giants, but given the current river conditions, it's good to be catching fish this good. I mean, a lot of times when you have water that's really high and really cold, it can be a rough go. Not stable river conditions. A lot of times the best conditions in the spring are just stable conditions. All right, guys, it is about, I would say, oh, four and a half hours later from when I last saw you guys. And uh, we're on the road driving across the great state of Wisconsin once again. Don't worry, soon we'll be out of the state of Wisconsin, which is exciting news for all. But um, kind of a fun day on the river today and uh, definitely tougher conditions. I love fishing the Mississippi River because it's always changing and you always have to kind of adapt and do different things. and. There's a lot of different styles of fishing you can do, a lot of different locations you can fish, and it's all relevant on current, watercolor, 
all that stuff that's constantly changing so a lot of fun and i always learn a lot when i fish like a big river system like the mississippi river so that's a lot of times my goal just to underneath kind of getting the video done but um, hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed this one today check out the fish usa box put a lot of time and thought just into kind of custom catering the best springtime baits um, that you could possibly have and putting it into one package at a better deal than you could get just outright buying all that stuff so um, it's definitely a good deal and it's like i said it's linked down below so hopefully you guys are watching enjoyed watching this one a lot of exciting stuff going on constantly this time of year i'm traveling i'm doing seminars um what do we got for seminars coming up next the day you guys watch this i'll probably be in fleet farm in appleton doing a seminar so that's not really relevant anymore there's a shields seminar coming up in eau claire wisconsin um, get online to find that maybe i'll link that one down below if there's still even tickets available by the time i post this video um, there's another one coming up in shields in appleton wisconsin and let me tell you something about this this seminar that i'm doing this year it's one of the best seminars is find it as far as meshing the time of year, the location, the presentation, and how electronics fuse all those things together to give you the best outcome. So I call it advanced walleye fishing, but it's really a phenomenal seminar that breaks down how you use electronics, not just to find fish, but specifically how you use electronics to catch fish in this immediate second. So it's very good at doing that. So um, I appreciate you guys' input on everything. I appreciate you guys following along with everything I'm doing, and I appreciate you guys watching this video. So stay tuned for more content. I got another hour on the road. Check into the hotel, do some editing, and do it all again tomorrow. We'll see you guys next time.